Today we're going to be looking at Elfsite and one of their awesome HTML5 widgets. We are looking at the, the menu for uh, any form of restaurants more or less. So this widget is actually highly customizable. So there are several settings in regards of layouts and content and how you want to add or remove sections um, in the widget. So in the left side, you will find a couple of templates that Elfsite has created. In our case, we are going with the fast food restaurant. And as you can see, we have multiple categories in here. Of course, this is for digital signage, so we don't need multiple categories as people really can't interact with the screen. So in my case, I only need the one category. We're going to pick the, the pizza category. So if you open that up, you can set your uh, category name. You can make a small description underneath the category name. And of course, an icon for your category. You can pick any of the icons that are in Elf Sites um, library, or you can add one of your own icons or maybe a photo. Going back, you'll see all of the products that has been added to this category. You can move your products around. And of course, think about this as being an online thing. If you make changes in here, they will change on your digital signage too. So this is one of the products. Uh, you have a price, you have a, uh, a product name, a description. You can add your own photos of your products. You can add badges. Let's say you had a vegan pizza. You could add a, an icon that shows that this is a, a vegan pizza. So if have moved back a bit uh, to more or less where we started. We have a footer that we can customize. It's more or less just text. Of course, you can do links and stuff in it, but this would usually be something simple like your opening hours or uh, rather or not taxes are included or you know, if, if something custom for your, your menu items. Moving into the layout tab, we have a couple of options for the menu itself. Uh, layout uh, of the menu, as I said, multiple sections. You can pick from one to four columns. You can change the width and you can toggle on and off rather or not to show the title of the menu. Moving into items, we can set up or change the layout for your items. There are three predefined layouts with smaller, medium, and large photos. Going back again, we can toggle on and off, uh, rather not to show the images, the description, the price, and of course the badges. Going into style, you have a couple of color schemes, light, dark, or you can set your um, your own color scheme, which is your ascent color, the background and so forth. Uh, furthermore, you can change the font size. Do you want regular, bold, default text or uppercase and so forth? And you can do this on your menu text. You can do it on the item text also. And of course, you can add custom CSS if that's something. So let's say we're done. Let's give this widget a name. Let's just call it uh, My Menu. Apply our changes and hit the Save button. Elfsite is now going to generate what we call a snippet. And the code you see here in the gray area is the code we will need to enter into place editor. So we're going to copy this. 
when you've copied the code we can move back into place editor and the first thing we're going to do is add the website plugin we're going to maximize the plugin itself we will choose HTML code and then the the code snippet that we just got from elf site we can insert here save it there's a couple of options here and um, how often do you want it to update the content and um, you can do zooming of the HTML content itself and this is the result of a very simple five minute setup for a menu and of course keep in mind there's a lot of different things you can change you can do a transparent background you can add video you can add your own logo and so forth